Hello Internet and welcome back. So a very important part of electronics production is of course having an option to put on the components automatically on your PCB. So recently I got this PCB uh, delivered uh, and I need to use the pick and place machine in the background to populate this PCB, so mount all the components. But before we can do that, we need to add some solder paste. And what I started to use is these frames here. So this frame here, uh, it comes with a set of holes. These holes match the footprints uh, on the PCB perfectly, but we need a way to align this. So you can either get this stencil here uh, separate, or you can get it on this frame. And depending on where you get it, you can get it really, really cheap. So they mount it on the frame for you. And uh, yeah, we need just need a way to uh, mount this frame in some sort of machine where we can align this PCB to it. So I got an idea, idea, and what I came up with, I love drawing in 3D. So I found a supplier that, that can supply these extrusions. They are actually very, very cheap. And I found a way to use Onshape, which I'm using for CAD modeling, to model with these. So I build a machine. Cue the time lapse. Well, actually, before we start the time lapse of the machine construction, let me just real quick show you what I made here. So this is my uh, Onshape drawing. And the big blue part here, the part one here, that is my screen. So what I've made is a, a machine or a frame of the machine that we can, where we can attach the frame. And we have a hinge system in the back here. And we can open up this top part. Actually, I can show you this assembly part here where I made the, the function. So we can open up this and we can mount the PCB that we want to add the solder paste on in this part uh, in this part here in the middle and we can close down the frame and then we can use our squeegees to add the solar paste okay now cue the building Okay, so I finished assembling this screen machine here and I even managed to get one of the screens for solder stenciling in here and that actually works okay. So the sliding system here, that is okay. I have not yet added, I have a, added a 8mm hole on each of these uh, holders here so I can tighten down the stencil itself. And the hinge here that will need some work because it's really flimsy here. Well, it's not really that easy to see, but you can see here, 
I have some leeway here. I need to fix that and probably that can be solved by just adding a few fixed points here. So when the stencil closes down, it will be in a fixed position. But uh, again, this complete device here has materials for, I think, $100. Hundred and ten dollars, um, so it's really inexpensive. To, and there's an inexpensive way to build this um, from these aluminium extrusions. So yeah, this is the first version. I'm gonna continue working on the hinges because that can probably be a lot better. There are some problems with the with the machine not closing all the way down properly. But yeah, we're getting there on a home built stenciling machine. Thanks for watching.